Hey everybody, welcome to our how-to video. This how-to video is going to be for units 3 and 4 and it's going to focus on how to use a data set to calculate correlation, to create a scatter plot, and also to use linear regression to produce a prediction equation. Now each video is 15 minutes, so if we run out of time on this video, this will be part one and I'll just make a second one. All right, here we go. This particular data set that we have open is called stat underscore grades and it shows all of the data about a class of students such as their gender, their ethnicity, their previous GPA, also values that they've gotten on quizzes um, and final exam scores and total class points and so on. So for our first example let's see how we can calculate the correlation between two variables in our data set. To calculate correlation we click on analyze and then we click on <clears throat> correlate. Finally we're going to choose bivariate because we're going to have two variables. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these back because what I want is to see if there's a correlation between a student's previous GPA and how they do on the final exam points. So those are the two variables that I'm going to move over. I'm going to continue with clicking on Pearson because that's the Pearson R value or the correlation that I want to calculate. And I'm just going to click on OK. The wonderful news is it is as simple as that. And then under correlations, which is one of the boxes that pops up, we see right here is our correlation. So basically between final exam points and previous GPA, our correlation is 0.498. And that's a fairly high correlation, it's almost 0.5. So we can consider that a strong linear correlation between previous GPA and final exam points. And this tells us that if somebody comes into our class and they have a high previous GPA, they have a high chance or a high correlation of also doing well on the final exam. And that's what that tells us. All right, now suppose we want to create a scatter plot to look and see what this correlation actually looks like. In order to do that, we're going to click on graphs and chart builder. Now I don't want to use these necessarily so I'm going to put everything back and start over so you can see what it looks like from the beginning. But I want to make a scatter plot. So first I'm going to go into my gallery and I'm going to find scatter plot and then I'm going to choose the basic scatter plot option and I'm going to drag it over. All right, now that it's there, probably the most challenging part is what goes in the x-axis and what goes in the y-axis. But remember, the x-axis is your independent variable. The y-axis is your dependent variable. Now, I want to compare previous GPA with final exam. Let's think logically about this. I think that if somebody has a high GPA, they're probably going to have a better chance of having a higher final exam score. That means that I think that the final exam score depends on what their previous GPA might have been. Now, not all the time, this is a correlation study, but that means that previous GPA is actually my independent variable. They already have this, but based on their previous GPA, I want to see if there's a correlation between final exam points. So that's my dependent variable. See how I drag both of those over, the independent being previous GPA, the dependent being final exam points, and then as always you can add titles and all kinds of goodies to your scatter plot. If I click on titles and footnotes, I can add a title. When I click this box, it actually adds for me the option of a title right here. 
and I'm going to call this correlation between previous GPA and final exam points. And as you know, I could add a subtitle, a second title, a footnote, and so on. I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to click OK to see my chart. All right, let's scroll down so we can see it. All right, there it is. We have all the previous GPAs and the final exam points, and we can kind of see that there is a correlation. It's not a straight line, it's not perfect, but we do see some relationship that those points are kind of going upward as the GPA gets better, the final exam score is getting better as well. If I double click in this box, I can actually add the option of a reference line from the equation. In other words, SPSS will give me the equation of the line that best describes all of these points. So I'm going to click this option and here I can attach my label of this little equation to my line as well if I want to. So this equation is actually the equation of my line that best fits my points. Let me apply that and so I can get rid of this. And now you have your line and your little equation and you have your scatter plot. So very, very nicely done. All right. Now this was an example of using a data set to calculate correlation and then to calculate a scatter plot to take a closer look at that correlation. In our next how-to video, or part two, I'm going to show you how to use linear regression to actually create a prediction equation that I can use to predict what I think a student's final exam will be if I know their previous GPA. So tune in for the next how-to video. Thanks for joining me.